Listen, before I get into this story, I had someone ask me, is this a woman only cheating channel? There is nothing that implies that this is a woman only cheating channel. Most of the time, us men are the ones who have the courage to send in their personal stories that involve infidelity. Now, let's get into the story. Am I the a-hole for divorcing my wife after I found out she had a one night stand two years ago? I never thought I'd be that guy. You know, the one posting his dirty laundry on the internet, asking strangers to weigh in on his life's choices. Unfortunately, here I am. I am 52 years old, staring at divorce papers and wondering if I've lost my mind. Two weeks ago, my world shifted on its axis. It wasn't some dramatic discovery or shocking revelation. Instead, it was a casual comment at a neighborhood barbecue that sent everything spiraling. We were at the Johnson's place, celebrating their son's college graduation. I was manning the grill, chatting with Jared, one of the neighbors from down the street, when he mentioned running into my wife at a hotel bar two years back. Man, I almost didn't recognize her that night, he chuckled. Never seen her so dolled up. Must have been some work event, huh? My wife hadn't attended any work events at hotels. She'd been home with the migraine the night I was out of town for that conference in Miami. The pit in my stomach grew as I pressed Jared for more details. The date, the hotel name, it all lined up with my business trip. <laughs> and the guy she'd been cozied up with at the bar definitely wasn't me. I managed to keep it together through dinner, but my mind was racing. I couldn't look at her without imagining her at that hotel bar, without wondering what happened after Jared saw her. The drive home was silent. She tried to make small talk, but I couldn't bring myself to respond. How could I act normal when my entire reality had just been shattered? Once we got home, I confronted her. I'll never forget the look on her face, shock, then guilt, then fear. She crumbled, admitting everything, a night of weakness she called it. Too much wine, a charming stranger, a moment of madness she regretted ever since. I felt like I was underwater, her words muffled and distorted. 25 years of marriage and I suddenly felt like I didn't know her at all. I left the house and got a hotel room. I couldn't stay in the house. I was angrier than anything and I was unable to sleep next to her. She kept trying to talk, to explain, to beg for forgiveness, but every time I looked at her, all I could see was betrayal. After a week of sleepless nights and agonizing over every moment of our marriage, I made my decision. I told her I wanted a divorce. She broke down, pleading for another chance. She swore it was a one-time mistake, that she spent the last two years trying to make up for it. She suggested counseling, a trial separation, anything but divorce, but my mind was made up. Now, two weeks later, I'm living in a rented apartment staring at divorce papers and questioning everything. Did I overreact? Is ending 25 years of marriage over one night of infidelity too extreme? And then I remember Jared's words, and it all turns to ash. I can't help but wonder, if he hadn't mentioned seeing her that night, would I have ever known? Probably not. Would we have continued on, blissfully ignorant? Part of me wishes I could turn back time, unhear those words, and go back to my happy life. But I can't. The knowledge is there, festering like an open wound. I've always prided myself on being a good husband, faithful, supportive, loving. I thought we had a good marriage. Now I wonder if it was all built on quicksand. Were there other indiscretions I never knew about? Other secrets she kept from me? The worst part is I still love her. Despite everything, despite the pain and betrayal, a part of me still wants to run back to her to forgive and forget, but how can I? How can I ever trust her again? I find myself analyzing every moment of the past two years, looking for signs. Did she act differently after it happened? Were there clues I missed? I torture myself with images of her with another man, wondering if she enjoyed it more than being with me. The rational part of my brain knows this isn't healthy. No, I should either commit to forgiving her and working on our marriage or follow through with the divorce and try to move on. But I'm stuck in this limbo, unable to go forward or back. I've started seeing a therapist, trying to work through my feelings. He says it's normal to feel conflicted, 
that healing takes time. But how much time? How long before I stop feeling this raw aching pain every time I think of her? But every time I start to soften, to consider giving her another chance, I remember that night at the hotel bar and my heart hardens again. My wife has respected my wishes for space, but she sends me a message every day. Sometimes it's just, I love you. Other times it's a memory from our past or a plea for reconciliation. Each message is like a knife to my heart. I know she's hurting too. I can hear it in her voice when she leaves voicemails. She's lost weight. My friends tell me, doesn't go out anymore, just works and comes home. Part of me is glad she's suffering. Isn't that what she deserves? But a bigger part aches to comfort her, to tell her everything will be okay. But will it? Can anything ever be okay again? I find myself envying my friends with their intact marriages their simple lives untouched by infidelity. I watch couples walking hand in hand and feel a mixture of longing and bitterness. The loneliness is starting to get to me. I've never lived alone before. I went from my parents' house to a college dorm to an apartment with my wife. Now at 52, I'm learning how to be by myself. It's harder than I thought it would be. I've tried dating more out of a desperate attempt to move on than any real desire to meet someone new. But every woman I talk to just reminds me of what I've lost. How can I open myself up again when the person I trusted most in the world betrayed me? Sometimes in my darkest moments, I wonder if I'm overreacting. It was just one night after all. She chose me every other night for 25 years. Isn't that worth something? But then I remember the secrecy, the lies by omission, and my resolve strengthens again. I worry about the future. Will I be that bitter old man warning young people about the dangers of trust? Will I spend the rest of my life alone, unable to let anyone close again? The thought terrifies me. My kids are confused and hurt. They don't understand why I won't give their mother another chance. They see her pain, her remorse, and they think I'm being cruel. Maybe I am, but how can I explain to them the depth of this betrayal? How can I make them understand that sometimes love isn't enough? I've done everything to keep my mind occupied, to exhaust myself so I can sleep without dreaming of her. Boss is thrilled with my sudden productivity, but my friends worry I'm heading for a breakdown. Maybe they're right. Maybe this is all too much to handle on my own. But what choice do I have? I can't go back, can't unknow what I know, and I can't seem to move forward, to let go and start anew. So here I am pouring my heart out to strangers on the internet, hoping for what? validation, advice, a miracle cure for heartbreak, I don't know anymore. All I know is that two weeks ago, I had a life I loved, a wife I adored, and a future I looked forward to. Now I have a suitcase of clothes, a rented apartment, and a hole in my chest where my heart used to be. So tell me, am I the asshole for divorcing my wife over a one night stand that happened two years ago? Am I throwing away a lifetime of love over one mistake? Or am I justified in my pain, my anger, my inability to forgive? Because right now, I honestly don't know. And that uncertainty is eating me alive. Edit. I did file for divorce and we're just waiting for the hearing. My kids are devastated, but I told them I can't trust their mother and I can't get past the betrayal. Well, as I have said before, some wounds take way longer to heal. And after 25 years of marriage to end by infidelity, it's going to take some time, but even with this pain, he followed through with the divorce. Basically, he just ripped the bandaid off. Sometimes that's what you need to do. I want to address one more thing. You women that make these sly comments, I can read between the lines. Don't come in with that crazy shit. Men this, men that. For one, women cheat just as much, if not more than men. But at the same time, not every woman and not every man has a hidden agenda. Now, if you women have a story to share, send it. I have said this before. If you don't like the content I upload, stay the fuck away from the channel. Easy instructions, easy, easy remedy. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time.